All right, I just want to go over how to use the snipping tool in Photoshop. And it's really not a Photoshop tool, um, but sometimes I'll have you use the snipping tool because I want to look at your layers. Now, notice this is an exported JPEG version of this project here. And the exported JPEG version will all be flattened. So it's all stuck on one layer. What you're going to turn in when I have you use the snipping tool is not going to be the exported JPEG version. It's going to be the PSD version. Now, this is not that same document, but this works the same way. So I want to be able to see all of your layers that have all these names like they're supposed to. So what you're going to do on projects where you have to use the snipping tool is first off, make sure that your picture fits on the screen. So you'll press Control-0 or Control, um, you know, minus until it fits. And then you're going to grab your layers panel by pulling it up here and then go ahead and make it tall. And depending on the project, you may have to make it super tall like so. Um, but you want to make it sure I, so I can see as many layers as possible. Now, if you have more layers than fit in the window, then just however many we can see. Okay, now in order to take that picture, you're going to come down to the bottom of your screen and click on this magnifying glass, which will say type here to search. Just click there and type the word snip and then hit enter to select the snipping tool. And here's the snipping tool. And how this tool works is you hit the scissors, you click the scissors, and then your whole screen will get gray. And then you will click and drag and draw a box only around the picture with the layers. I don't want the entire screen. I don't care about these toolbars and all these panels over here. So here I go. I'm clicking the scissors. Everything grays out. See how it grayed out. And then I'm going to take my mouse. I'm going to start up here in the corner and I'm just going to select the area that we're going to turn in, which is this part. Okay. And then what I would suggest to you, just so you don't get confused, would be when you save this and you'll put it in your folder, you know, wherever your U Drive folder is at. And you should have a Canvas folder in yours to upload to Canvas. And in that Canvas folder, you're going to put like Intro 2 Snip. That way you know it's the Intro 2 project and this is a snip of that, which shows the layers. So just to be on the safe side, if I were you, I would probably add the word snip to it so you know this is the version that also shows your layers. Then you hit save, and then when you get into Canvas, as always, you'll go ahead and click on Home for our class, and over on the right-hand side, you should see a, the project on a to-do list over there, and you will upload that in there. If you have any questions, please let me know.